The grease trap was first patented in the late 1800s by Nathaniel Whiting from California, USA. There has been little progress in the design over the last 120 years. Grease traps are considered to be inefficient, allowing considerable quantities of FOGs to pass through into the drainage system or pump stations, generating foul smells, requiring to be regularly pumped out at significant recurring cost. Some 93% of the grease trap contents is highly contaminated water. Environmental Products and Services Limited, EPAS, a Northern Ireland company, started working on a solution to the problem of FOGs back in 1998. Fifteen years later, and having accumulated international awards in the last seven years, including the ultimate honour of being nominated as a winner of the Kitchen Innovations Award at the 2014 National Restaurant Association in Chicago. EPAS is launching the globally certified Grease Shield in the USA. The Grease Shield product range represents innovative engineering solutions to the problems of FOGs, delivering functionality. The products do what they say on the tin. Well, the problems were mostly relating to loss of productivity, not being able to cook, get things prepped in time, and regarding block drains and sewers. We go through on a, on a weekly basis is roughly one tonne of cooked chicken fillets a week, three to four tonne of potatoes as well too, so we, that's, we weren't getting that out, you know. We're pretty hectic regarding constantly having to get people in to service uh, drains and sewers and that sort of thing. Cost-wise to the to the business, you're talking three to four hundred pound a time. So then you're probably talking eight hundred pound a month. Where it's fairly neat and tidy, keeps everything in shape. There's no smells whatsoever. It does its job as long as it's empty and kept maintained. It should work. It should work fine, you know. Fully recommended. It definitely, definitely would because it's uh, worked for us from word go. It has done everything that it was meant to do, and we have had no crimes or qualms about it. It's very, very good, you know. The effluent discharge has an FOG strength of less than 100 parts per million. Tests carried out over a period of some three years in various FSEs, food service establishments, have shown an average effluent strength of 42 parts per million. Even more impressive results have been recorded when testing the effluent from convection and combi steam ovens used for cooking chickens and pork. Revenue generation Harvesting renewable energy resources in the form of high-calorific FOGs presents the potential for converting negative value wastes. Not all drainage-related problems are attributable to FOGs. Safeguard drainage systems and watercourses whilst eliminating operational problems and saving money. How does the Grease Shield work? Grease Shield protects drainage systems and harvests renewable energy resources by using waste thermal energy to remove emulsified FOGs before they solidify, additionally removing and dewatering organic waste, eliminating anaerobic foul-smelling conditions, providing a complete solution to the issues of drainage protection both internally and externally. Solid organic food wastes are removed from the grease shield so as to prevent biological degradation and anaerobic conditions developing. Effluent is made to work over twice the length of the grease shield unit. The effluent flow direction is reversed. A series of cooperating baffles working in conjunction with the reverse flow help to prevent the discharge of emulsified FOGs. Clean grey effluent is taken and recirculated to assist in the internal cleaning of the grease shield and to prevent dairy or floating wastes sitting and biodegrading in water at a temperature of typically 35 to 40 Celsius. The FOG removal comprises of an oleophilic and hydroscopic roller, which attracts FOGs and repels water. No maintenance is required, but if the FOG roller is touched by hands, then it must be cleaned down with a clean damp cloth impregnated with detergent. The FOG roller is wiped by a long-lasting silicon rubber blade with anti-friction properties to prevent static buildup. The FOG cartridge is graduated to enable a record to be maintained of how much FOG is being removed daily. A daily maintenance log is provided with each grease shield. The FOG cartridge and pre-filter or solids cartridge or filter shield or inline cartridges should be emptied and washed daily. 
a spray hose is supplied to assist kitchen staff to carry out daily maintenance. All grease shields are controlled by a PLC, allowing the units to work 24-7. Grease shield works while the kitchen is working. The standard operating program calls for the FOG removal device to pulse on for 5 minutes and off for 5 minutes from 7 in the morning to 2.30 a.m. the following morning, but can be set to work 24-7. The recirculation feature activates for 10 seconds in every 90 seconds during FOG roller operation. FOGs in the low-level units are detected by electronic sensors and a safeguard is in place to prevent coagulation of saturated fats before the grease solidifies. LED lights indicate visually mains power to the grease shield unit. Unit must be connected to an IP56 outlet power socket located below counter and solely for use for the grease shield. FOG removal is indicated by an LED illuminating and the third LED indicates the recirculation function and transfer of FOGs from the low-level tank. Grease shield is extremely economic using as little as 15 watts per hour. Typical consumption for the low-level grease shields is 22 watts per hour and for the AST range is typically 47 watts per hour. AutoCAD and 3D rivet drawings are available to kitchen designers. Grease Shield, the heart of the kitchen.